What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This will be a spoiler free review for Strange Darling. Strange Darling is written and directed by JT Molnar. It is starring Kyle Gowner, Willa Fitzgerald, Jason Patrick, and several others. I think it also has the mom from Insidious, Josh's mom, but that's just a side thought. The story of this film is that nothing is what it seems when a twisted one night stand spirals into a serial killer's vicious murder spree now strange darling is a cat and mouse game of a film at its finest it takes that concept and executes it almost perfectly i don't recall ever being this in love with a non-linear film structure i think the last time might have been well i i don't even want to compare it to the movie i'm thinking of because i just don't i don't want to give away anything that might lead to you guys going oh so it's like that but strange darling makes the most of its non-linear structure it does not waste time getting under your skin setting an intense but disturbingly engaging narrative be prepared to experience one of the most well-crafted films is all i can say because right now i'm just kind of speechless still after what i've just experienced the story, which is broken into six chapters, centers on two people who met at a bar and decided to hook up. Now, the only names we get at first, I'll say at first. So that's the names I'm going to go with are Demon and Lady. Lady, who is a fan of casual hookups, nightlife, is also into kinky, kinky activities, but keeps her guard up during these encounters because it can be dangerous and women could encounter a serial killer in scenarios like this. Unfortunately for Lady, that thought is coming to life. Demon our killer is happy to fulfill lady's deranged kink since he's legit legitimately presented to be out of his mind we don't learn much about him which amplifies his role as a convincing antagonist now you don't learn all of this right away because again this story is out of order and if you watch my review again after listening you will see that i am doing my absolute best to help you go into this so you can be surprised but thanks to a collection of highly thrilling sequences, Strange Darling is able to establish and retain my investment in its two leads. Their motivations towards each other are enough to carry the story. Even if they both remain a bit thin by the end of it all, what it lacks in character development is made up for with well-placed twists and turns that most viewers won't pick up on and a thought-provoking examination in how men and women are perceived. That aspect of how men and women are perceived, I guess you could say gender norms, is toyed with so well because when we meet our last pairing of male and female characters, I'm more inclined to disagree with the behaviors of one over the other. It's the smartest depiction of gender norms I've seen in a while, and it does so much to the overall story and the journey that these two go on. Trust me, it will make sense when you see it. The exchanges between Lady and Demon always felt authentic, but one character who was introduced during the third act had some cringy lines, which may have been on purpose, but I wasn't completely sold on that aspect. Strange Darling's major strength in its screenplay is just how it's able to constantly build upon your interest as it progresses while shifting repeatedly or while repeatedly shifting the context of past chapters. It's able to keep you engaged with what is happening versus why is it being told to me out of order. So if the screenplay had lackluster sequences unfolding, then the twist wouldn't work because you'd be focused on why is this story out of order versus asking what are demons plans for this lady since he's completely out of his mind. But because of everything being on your screen, being engaging, you are not worried about why it's out of order. You're just trying to figure out what is going on and what is Demon about to do to this woman. And trust me, the payoff, it is really good. I was not expecting it because of, again, how the story starts off. We start off with one of the most thrilling, gripping opening sequences that I've ever seen between these two in which Demon is already being shown pursuing her in a car. He has his shotgun and I'm already invested in that woman's safety and then of course by the end of it all i'm like wow that it really says a lot about some of us and how we perceive gender norms now jt molner's direction keeps the film tense and unpredictable kyle gowner and willa fitzgerald should be proud of what they've done here both are scream alumni so that makes this even better for me as a viewer Willa does such a great job portraying a scared, helpless victim, and Kyle is firing on all cylinders as usual in this role as this calculated individual determined to catch and harm this woman. Now, I will go on record to say that I think that this is Willa's greatest performance in her resume, of what I have seen from her anyway. This is the best work I've seen from her so far. She did fine in the Scream TV show. 
seeing her now, I think she has improved so much as an actress that it makes me proud to say that I was present to see her growth from where she was in that MTV Scream show, which again, she was not doing a bad job there, but when you see what she's cooking up here, she has definitely taken, I think she's made it a priority to constantly just up her ante. She is just such a tremendous actress in this role, and I was buying everything she was selling. It was so good from her. The chemistry between them is quite intoxicating at times as well. Visually, Strange Darling is the one of the most gorgeous films this year. That's something I cannot avoid saying. The way it looks is so pretty. All the colors popping out. It's shot on like 35 millimeter, I believe. So everything on your screen is gorgeous to look at. It is just always welcoming and keeping you engaged. It does help to heighten some of the tension that unfolds going forward and makes certain sequences more suspenseful than others. Sets the mood, especially when they're in the car and having this kinky conversation. So all of the colors popping out definitely worked in its favor. Now, the pacing I thought did lag a bit at times. One of the most sinful aspects or moments or instances came during the third act. And well, actually, yeah, right up until the credits rolled. The last thing we see on our screen, I thought that just went on for far too long. Granted, what was on my screen was another example of tremendous acting, but it just went on for far too long. It was my takeaway. Some stuff just went on for too long. The pacing, though, all together, I thought was fine, but it did lag a bit is all I can say. Now, the score thought that was great. That definitely heightened some of the tension and suspense chimed in at all the right moments definitely was effective at keep getting you immediately engaged during that thrilling opening sequence that was just one of the best sequences i've seen so far to open a film this year i am going to give strange darling a solid nine out of ten a rare nine out of ten i think the last time i said that was when i watched dune so off record for me or on record for me anyway i would say that strange darling is the second best film that's been released this year that i've watched right behind dune 2 so let me go let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification your name is video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video